Okay, I'm going to show how to do a basic color wheel. So the first thing we have to do is draw a circle. Now, don't stress too much about this. It's actually pretty hard to draw a perfect circle. If yours looks like an egg or a squished potato or something, don't worry about it. Just kind of go with it. It's actually very hard to draw like a perfect circle. So the next thing we're going to do is add next because we have to break this uh, circle into six pieces, six pie pieces. So first thing we're going to do is draw an X, so almost like the X-Men logo. Something like that. Okay. And if I go too fast for you in this video, just uh, pause it and when I, I'll tell you a couple of times when you should pause and go ahead and finish what I'm talking about okay so the next thing we're gonna do is put a line right through the center of the X just like this okay so now we end up with one two three four five six so if you're having a party with friends and uh, six friends and you're figuring out how to cut the pieces just do the X and then a line through it and you got six pieces okay so the first uh, type of color we're going to look at is called primary color. Primary colors make all the other colors. You can't make primaries. So the primary colors are the basic colors and really they're the only colors you need. If you have these three primary colors you can make almost all the colors that you see. And you'll see that as we learn more and more. So I have my watercolors here. So the first primary color is yellow. So I'm going to paint this top piece yellow. So if you want to pause here and work on that, you can do that. OK, so I make sure that my brush is very clean because I'm going to go to a new color now and that's the other primary color and that's blue so I'm going to skip one of these pie pieces and I'm going to do blue right here okay so I skipped uh, one of the pieces and I went to this one okay if you don't skip you're going to have to start all over again rewind the video and do it again so I'm going to color this one so again, the primaries cannot be made. They make all the other colors. Okay, so the next primary color is red. Now I make sure my brush is real clean. I'm gonna get the red here. So I'm gonna skip another one of these pieces. Not sure what to call them. And I'm going to color this one in red. Okay. And if you want to pause and do that. So these are the three primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. These make all the colors you see. So really all you need is yellow, blue, and red to make your color so uh, when you're at um, a restaurant and they only give you a yellow blue and red crayon don't get upset because you can actually make all the colors you see with the three primary colors so now we're going to make secondary colors secondary colors are two of the primary colors mixed together now the secret to mixing colors is to always start with the lightest color value. So green, which is one of the secondary colors, is made with yellow and blue. So which one is the lighter value? Yellow. So we're going to start with yellow. And it only takes, so I'm going to clean my brush, make sure there's nothing on it. I'm going to go get some blue. And it only takes a teeny bit of blue to turn this green. So not a whole lot. And as you see, it 
it's starting to turn green. So right now I want you to paint this piece of the pie here green. The next secondary color is orange. And orange is made with yellow and red. So which one's the lighter value? You always start with the lighter value. So yellow is the lighter value. So I just get some yellow on here. Then I wash my brush, make sure it's super clean. I don't want to mix up my colors. So I'm just going to take a teeny bit of red, just a teeny drop. Add some more water to it. And you see how fast that turns this into orange. Okay. So I want you to fill this segment with orange. So a lot of you probably found out if you're not careful and you have too much red, it's just going to turn into your red. So you have to be very careful. It only takes a little bit. That's why you always start with the lightest value and then you add the darker value color to it. It just takes a teeny bit of the darker value color to change it. So I never buy green paint. I don't buy it. It's so easy to make. I just yellow and blue and I have my green. I don't buy orange paint because <clears throat> it's super easy to make. You just uh, add a little bit of red to your yellow and you have orange. So I think it's basically a waste of money to go buy green or orange paint. You can make it yourself very easily. So the last color is called violet. Now a lot of people refer to it as purple. That's actually a nickname. Uh, the actual name of the color is violet. Now I won't get mad at you if you called it purple or anything, but if you're around artists and stuff you want to call it violet. So violet is red and blue. Now this is where it gets hard because they're almost the same value. So I'm going to go with red and add some red here. Clean my brush. Make sure it's super clean before I get another color. And now I'm going to add some blue to it. And you see, bam! I have violet. So I'm going to paint this last part violet. Now I will buy violet or purple because it's just easier and a lot of times when you try and mix your own violet it doesn't come out right because they don't use pure pigment for red and blue. So you have your three primaries. You have yellow, you have red, and you have blue. Okay, these three primaries can make the secondaries. Orange, green, and violet. Okay, so if I buy yellow, blue, and red, I actually have six colors I could because I can make these colors. Okay, so you only really need to have yellow, blue, and red. So if you're ever confused, you can always come back to the color wheel and say, how do I make green? Look for green. What are the two colors next to it? Yellow and blue. Yellow and blue make the green, so you can always do that. Now the next group of colors is called tertiary colors. Now tertiary means three, but that's a little bit confusing because the colors that this is talking about are like green yellow. So what they mean by three is green is made with blue and yellow, so that makes green. You add more yellow to it and it makes yellow green. That's not really three colors, that's more of the second color. Another word for it is intermediate. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try my best with the watercolors to make intermediate colors. So I want to make a yellow green. So I'm going to start with yellow because that's the lightest. And notice how I'm using the tray here so I can mix my colors. So I'm going to clean my brush and then I get just a little bit of blue here. 
put that over here far away from the yellow because I don't need that much because I want it to be a yellow green I don't want it to have too much of the yellow in it so, or the blue in it so I think I have it and I'm gonna put that right there get my yellow green right there so now I'm gonna make yellow orange so I'm gonna start with yellow yellow and I just want a tiny bit of the red in it so I'm just gonna so I got the red and notice how whenever I get a color I make sure I wash my brush so I'm just gonna take bit of this red and add it to the yellow because I want it to be yellow orange and I that's what this tray is for to mix your colors and see how they are so I'm gonna add my yellow orange right there it's very light Okay, now I'm gonna do the red orange so I want this one now you have to be careful because um, basically what we think of as red is actually what a lot of artists call red orange so uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of the red to turn it into just red so you have to be very, very careful so do that up there on my tray and then it needs a little bit more red in it so notice I'm mixing my own colors so I want you to try for this color wheel to mix your own colors so as you can see I mixed blue violet I started with blue and added a little bit of red you can see I did that on my tray and then over here so all of these intermediate colors I mixed myself so if I bought yellow blue and red paint I can make green orange and purple I can make yellow green yellow orange red orange blue violet red violet or red violet blue violet blue green and yellow green So people always say, what about brown? Brown is a color. Brown is called a neutral color. And brown is actually all three of the primaries mixed together. It's actually kind of hard to make. So I start here with yellow, add just a little bit of the red to it. That's going to make it orange. And then I'm going to add some blue to it. Team I'm starting to get a brown and if it looks too green you say well what other color does it need more of it needs more red so you add some more red to it until eventually you get to a brown color so when you're all done you should have the three primaries yellow blue and red and you should have the three secondaries that you made yourself green orange and violet and then you should have all of the intermediate colors yellow green blue green blue violet red violet red orange and yellow orange good luck